Hey everybody, welcome to our final week of this 90 day fast track. It's been an incredible experience. It's been really great. You know, um, I started off this week and uh, it was a crazy week and then it was a short week and a lot of people actually took advantage of what we talked about. Huge shout out to Jody um, Engel. She sold two websites this week, took what we said last week and really applied it, went out, sold two sites in three days. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what this is all about, you guys. It's not about any magic sauce or like magic fairy dust that we can sprinkle on you. It's about whether or not you're going to take the knowledge and the advice that you get from myself and from the various fast track coaches and actually apply it and do the work. If you actually apply what people are telling you, oh my gosh, you have no idea what kind of results that you're going to see. That's what this is all about. It's about the work. So huge shout out to Jody for that. I'm totally grateful for everybody. Grateful for the experience. You know, it's been it's been one of those weeks where um, people get kind of verklempt and they um, reflect and they reflect on the things that they're really grateful for and happy about. And I'm really really grateful to have been on this fast track with you guys. So as we enter in this 12th week, I hope that you are going to make it the best week yet. Um, you know, growing up, we used, uh, a coach of mine used to always say, make this the best day of your life thus far, meaning it doesn't have to be the best day of your life ever. It just needs to be the best day of your life that you've ever had. And I hope that this week you take every day and, and um, you really, really apply yourselves. Um, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, um, you know, enjoyed your time off. And I applaud everybody for attending tonight, um, even though it is a holiday weekend. It is our last week of the Fast Track, so I really do believe um, you're in for a special treat tonight, especially since we get to hear from Executive Supervising Coordinator Sue Gilad, who is just one of my favorite people on Earth. She is incredible. She is a light um, that is just so bright not to be reckoned with. Um, incredibly talented, sweet, powerful, um, intelligent, uh, effective efficient. She's she's just everything that, that we all want to be. So I'm really excited to hear for, from her and what she's been doing in her business this week um, or, you know, to, to, to be as successful as she is. She's just successful. She's one of those people that it doesn't matter what she touches. It turns to gold, right? So, you know, if it's Nutrimetrics, it's Nutrimetrics. If it's Web Centers, it's Web Centers. If it's, you know, musical theater, it's musical theater. It really does not matter what it is. Whatever she does, whatever she gets involved in, it, she does it right. And so, you know, what she has to share with everybody tonight, I really believe is going to be incredibly valuable and it's going to be um, really, really great information for your final week. In fact, it's no, um, you know, coincidence that she is the final speaker of our coaches. I put her there for a reason. Um, and you know, all of our coaches are incredible. Oh my gosh, they were so great. Everybody had so much to offer, but, um, I'm just so excited to hear from Sue Gulad this week. So, uh, for this week, we will be, you know, doing our normal housekeeping stuff. We'll talk about our results from the, the past week. And then uh, we'll hear from Sugalad. And then we will talk about, you know, week 12, the championship week. You know, this is our final This is our final week. So it's sort of like going into the Super Bowl. What are you going to do in this last week to really make it count? And um, so I want to just talk to you a little bit about that um, and make sure that we're on the right track. A couple of quick housekeeping things. Webinars are recorded. Recordings and or presentations are uploaded to mawc411.com. Like I said, recordings are not guaranteed. And in previous fast tracks, I was like religious about uploading these recordings to the to the website, which is great. But you know, you know, it, it, some people wouldn't attend the live recording, and so you have every best intention in the world of listening to the recorded webinar, but life gets in the way. Things happen. You know, kids have sports things and dance and all these things that are coming up, and so you you intend to listen to the recorded webinar and then you don't. So you you know you skip the live one. You intend to listen to the recorded one and then you don't. So you know um you know we have been waiting a full week in between the live recording and when we post it on purpose. Um, it's intentional because this is it. this is about committing to daily steps. Um, you know, when you think about it, this 90 day fast track, it's never been about going above and beyond. It's never been about going crazy or going nuts. It's always been about just committing to about 15 minutes a day of work. And if you can commit to 15 days of work a day, you can completely transform your business. And, um, and so when we talk about these small requirements that it takes to be part of this fast track, you know, attending a live webinar is one of them. And so I just want to let be very clear about that. You know, I'm not being lazy about uploading these. I'm doing it on purpose and I'm doing it because we want to create healthy business habits. We want to have a schedule. We want to be, um, you know, we want to be in the routine. We want to be in our flow. We want to be getting results that we want, which means we've got to be, we've got to be getting the work done. So 
um, just be aware of that. Um, if you have any um, questions throughout tonight's webinar, you can send them to us in the question box or you can email them to me at sararose at marketamerica.com. Either is fine. I just want to let everybody know that this weekend I actually logged on to Facebook and I saw a ton of private Facebook messages. And um, if you have a business or a time sensitive question, the best way to reach me and get a response like that day is to send me an email. You know, I have so many random private Facebook messages that, you know, the important ones get kind of lost in there. And so I, I encourage you that if you have anything that's time sensitive or anything that's important, that you actually send me an email rather than a um, private Facebook message. OK. All right. So that's that. So let's talk about results. So we had a three-day week, and like I said, huge shout out to uh, to Jody who just did an incredible job this week. Really, really made it happen. This is not the right result. Let me go ahead and pull up the right ones. Um, you guys, I, I totally forgot to to do the um, copy and paste. So you can see my screen. So just give me one little second. Um, full summary report. Just one second, you guys. I want to share with you the actual results. Okay, that's not correct. Here we go. All right, so in week 11, we only had four website sales, but again, it was a three-day week, and that's better than in previous weeks where there's a holiday where it's a short week, you know, where we see zero sales. We had four at $5,500 and $4,200 in retail profit. That's incredible. Other products, $10,000, $661 worth of product sales, three personally sponsored, eight additional partners, and one master coordinator that was in my group. But guys, let me just tell you something else, something that completely made my day today. I was literally, literally in tears this morning hearing from Eric Yu, who just hit professional coordinator on this fast track. You guys, wait. make sure you look um, for the article that we're going to release about this because you guys, um, you know, Eric started our fast track three fast tracks ago. He started as an executive coordinator. Um, he was working the overnight shift and, um, you know, a student, very, very busy. You know, when I hear about people that don't have time and then I think about people like Eric who have so little time to devote, um, but yet does devote the time. You know, what Eric has accomplished over the course of three fast tracks is just incredible. You know, the first fast track he did it alone and he had great sales, you know, like three website sales, over three grand in BV worth of product sales, personally sponsored, and all that other great stuff. You know, that was his first fast track experience. But from there, you know, the second time around, he brought people on his team with him and they multiplied that, you know, by two or three. And then this past fast track, he did it with seven team members in his own personal group and had website sales, had personally sponsored, had product sales, jumped to professional coordinator. And more than that, every single person that he did this fast track with also hit a new pin level. This is the epitome of why we do what we do. This is the epitome of, you know, why the fast track works. It's about it's about figuring out where you are, deciding that's great, owning it, and then growing from there, right? So Eric started off as an executive coordinator with very little time and money, and guess where he is now? Professional coordinator with seven people, ton of sales, personally sponsored, ton of product sales, um, you know, growing organization, people in his group hitting pen levels. This is what it's about. And um, so I'm just so, so excited. And you know, it's it's always during these these crunch weeks. It's, you know, the week of Thanksgiving where, you know, we have people hitting pin levels. I couldn't believe it. You know, we have, um, you know, in, in our group, we had somebody, Heather, who, who hit master coordinator this week. And you're like, wow, you know, it, most people take this week completely off. It's just, you know, the holidays are a great opportunity to create urgency. It's a great opportunity to get motivated and just make it happen. And um, so I just congratulate those of you that did work this week because, you know, it's a good indicator of where you're going in the future. So that's really great. Keep up the great work. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to move on. We're going to hear from Fast Track Coach of the Week. You know, I talked about her already, executive supervising coordinator and Fast Track Coach and hopefully future Web Center trainer, Sugi Lod. She is incredible. I mean, you guys, 
when you talk, when you when we think about the Web Center program, Souk Alad is the Web Center program. You know, uh, a few a few uh, years ago, we did an article in in Help Magazine. It's just, it's an outliving magazine. It's a beautiful magazine about um, successful people and entrepreneurs and just people of substance. And you know, Sue was featured as the Web Center you know, representative, the ideal candidate for web centers. And, and it's not because she's so beautiful, even though she is very beautiful, it's because of how successful she is. So, you know, without further ado, I'd really love to turn it over to Sue and give her, you know, the time that she deserves to really train you guys on what you need to be thinking about some new techniques that you may be able to try to take your business to the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute Sue and we'll, and she'll take it from there. Go ahead, Sue. You should be unmuted. One second, Sue. Okay, Sue, you are unmuted. So um, if you are, there's like a little, hold on one second. All right, she's calling back in, so hold on. We'll just give Sue a second to get reconnected in a different way. All right, Sue, give it another yeah. try. Perfect. Welcome. Hi. So happy that you're here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I just wanted to show you that you don't need to be technology friendly in order to do the web center program because I'm probably the least technical person you'll ever meet and that's who I want to talk about tonight actually since you have just become over the course of the last 12 weeks probably the most prolific proficient web center owner I mean you can talk about this stuff when you're in the shower you can talk about this stuff in 12 seconds on an elevator you're the master but here's what I really want to do I want to bring it back to the absolute basics because your team is going to grow with the most beautiful velocity with new people who are starting exactly where you were 12 weeks ago. So we've had 11 weeks of the absolute best of the best training us on how to create a solid client base, how to build a platform as an internet entrepreneur, how to grow your referral base like mad. And now that you are an absolute pro, let's talk about the people who are going to grow your business most effectively, your interns, your apprentices, your trial run WCO team, so that they can feel comfortable and empowered in any situation as they begin their journey with MA Web Centers and Shop.com. So you know how to speak in themes, you know how to book the appointment, you know how to ask for the referral, and you've reached a level where it's not just about you setting the website appointment, you really want to identify powerful business partners who can effectively duplicate what it is that you do. So I like to make it as easy as possible for them and for me, actually. So let's take a look at a quick sound bite that will open up the conversation to potential clients as well as potential WCOs, Web Center owners. Oh, what do I do? I work with a team that provides custom website and internet solutions for small to mid-sized business owners. In fact, we have a pretty good problem right now. We have too many clients. We're expanding and we're seeking a qualified individual to identify and manage referral sources. Who do you know who might be seeking a new adventure alongside what they're currently doing? I say that, I've probably said that more than 400 times in my life when I'm at a party or when somebody's talking to me about what's really cool and new on the internet or when I meet someone on the subway since I live in New York City. I, I love this idea of leverage, the power to get things done utilizing the skills of people that complement your skills. So I don't have any technology skills. The MA Web Center's team has, has sold for me probably, I don't know, over 70 or 80 websites, and I still am not able to do a walkthrough on my own. I just don't get it. And I'm really um, verbal about that, everybody, because I know that there are so many incredible coaches who actually know how to make a beautiful website. They know how to, how to talk the talk, and I, I don't. I just know how to make awesome referrals. And so I keep that extremely basic idea whenever I'm talking to somebody, someone who, who needs more money. So my most effective method for getting new candidates excited is to offer a financial incentive for referrals. 
So whenever I find myself in a situation where someone's talking about how they could use some extra income, I will first ask them, okay, are you serious about that? And I'll wait for their response before mentioning that my company is expanding right now and anyone who you know who is seeking a superior internet presence for their existing or new business, simply, first of all, rave about me, right? That, <laughs> the more you rave, the easier it is to get the appointment. Rave about me and then get me their full name, phone number, and email. And I will set them up on a risk-free walkthrough with my expert web team. We're happy to thank you with a percentage of the retail profit when the site closes. Now that percentage changes, and I'll tell you guys, when I first started with MA Web Centers my first year, I, I really needed that retail profit. You know, I, I needed it to, to make me feel confident that this was a good business decision for me. I needed it to pay for the things I had in my life. And then once my residual income through the back end, through the commission structure grew, the retail profit was not, and, and now is not, as important to me. So my referral fee has become more generous over time, but I'm going to talk to you about what I did my first couple of years, okay? So my first couple of years, I said, we're happy to thank you with either 10% of the retail profit or $100, whatever's higher, okay? Now, this is a personal choice. Some web center owners prefer to offer 5% of the retail profit or 20% or a, a gift card to Starbucks or even their shop.com portal. But cash has been most effective for me because it is so easy to understand and I really want to make things easy to understand. So I've noticed a successful, uh, an interesting phenomenon with successful referrals. I will refer 10% of the retail profit of the first sale. And after that closes with someone who I'm interning with or even just, you know, somebody I know, whatever, I met them at a party, they said they wanted to make some more money, I say, great, my company teaches people how to do that, let's start with a website sale. After they make their first referral to me and after the referral closes, I will send them a thank you note with um, either 10% of the retail profit or $100 and I'll include a note that says, by the way, your next referral is 20% or $200. And by then, the candidates who have simply been making referrals and, and raving about me and raving about MA Web Centers, they start to ask the question, well, Sue, how do you make money at this? And that's a great question because I have a fantastic answer. And it's the bigger picture between MA Web Centers and becoming a business partner with us. So now that our World Conference is coming up, another bonus that you can offer to your referral sources is discount on their hotel or flight. You know, we met a web designer, a very talented web designer who brought us a client, and then he designed her site in the MAWC platform. He used the retail profit to cover the cost of his trip and hotel in sunny Miami last year. So if you're thinking, I don't feel comfortable giving people cash or that's not, that, that doesn't work for me. What you can say is, we're going down to Miami, let's see if this is a good fit for you and earn some of your um, expenses to go down to this enormous internet marketing conference where there will be tens of thousands of people there, real mavericks, people who are moving and shaking, entrepreneurs. You'll see the bigger picture behind what our company does and how we service small to mid-sized businesses. So, okay. There's one other thing I want to talk to you about because we are at the end of our fast track and it's been 12 weeks and yet we still have another few weeks of cheating before the challenge, the web center challenge closes. I run my business based on this challenge. Sell six websites in six months, bring on two powerful partnerships with uh, two successful individuals and attend or conduct a web center training. That has been the same challenge since I came on board with MA Web Centers, I think maybe it's eight years ago. And I think I won it every time except once, and the once I didn't win it is because I didn't get my paperwork in, and something that I happen to think is really cool about the parent company is they're really strict because it's a franchise, and they said, nope, sorry, we can't make it happen. So ever since then, I got annoyed, and I win it every time. So what is that, eight years, 15 Web Center wins? six websites each time, whatever 15 times six is, that's how many websites they've sold on my behalf, give or take. Okay? Once you hit that for the first time, which is way outside your comfort zone the first time, or at least it was way outside my comfort zone, I didn't know how to sell one website a month, but you know, look, you're a referral source, you're up and running. It becomes easier and easier. Now I have to tell you guys why you really want to win the Web Center Challenge. 
First of all, it puts you instantly on an international stage. Not only does the incredible leadership, Sarah Rose and Jeremy at MA Web Centers know immediately who you are, but so does the corporate team. Then you get to go to the challenge reception on Wednesday before everything starts. The entire corporate team is there. Many of the advisory council members, people who have earned in excess of a million dollars in commissions. It's a very inspiring evening. JR talks. He often weeps. People weep with him. There's free food there for my actors in the audience. I go for the free food, but I actually stay for the beautiful speeches. And you get preferred seating. I believe you get preferred seating for Web Center. I know you get it for President's Challenge. So I'm, I'm going to put a challenge out there to everybody because I have to win, and I actually um, just sponsored my, my final person today to complete all the requirements for it. So I don't want to be alone there. Like MA Web Centers, especially since Sarah came on board, has been making so many fabulous and cool and sexy waves within the bigger picture of shop.com and Market America. You know, our division is so cool, and I think that we should have more winners, because to be totally honest, guys, I want to be brutally honest with you. I've won the Nutrimetrics Challenge. It is a pain in the patootie to win that thing. It is a lot of work. And ours, relatively speaking, it's a piece of cake. And I know you can do it. I mean, Sarah, who you're just talking about, who sold two websites this week, it's going to be so much fun. One good way to sell those final websites, um, if you're old, if you've been around a while like I have, reach out to the people who are already business clients of yours. I send, I'd like to send out thank yous to them the week of Thanksgiving, which it still is. I usually send them a nice note with a coupon to share with anybody they know who needs a superior web presence. So, of course, the coupon is for... <laughs> a complimentary website demo, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. um, and uh, and then what everybody gets to do is they get to have yet another reason to talk about me and MA Web Centers. Now I would say more than 90% of my business comes from referrals, people who I have given a reason to talk about me. So that that's what gave me the opportunity to go and learn a little bit about Nutrimetrics and to go win the Nutrimetrics Challenge and to go in, into doctor's offices because I had a lot of time. Because once you master the art of everything that Sarah and all of the Web Center coaches have been teaching, once, once you master this, you carry it around in your head and there's no more time needed to spend on it. It's quite brilliant. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all this tonight into, um, into the blog so that you can read it. You can practice the language that my team has been practicing for years now. And it is fun to talk about this in the space of providing a gift, providing a service that people are desperately needing. But it's also fun, especially now that we're coming into holiday season and you're going to be meeting lots of people at parties. By the way, go to every party you're invited to, especially if it's people that you know who you don't know will be there. But when you go to a party, it's, it's so much fun for me to brainstorm about someone's passions. How are you living your passion? You know, sometimes I'll meet someone who already has a specific vision for their passion and, and they want to manifest it into a business, so that's an easy fit. I'll just hook them up with my guys get them on an appointment with the superstars at MA Web Centers, the product specialist. And then, you know, you also get to meet people who are articulate and fun and engaging, and they don't necessarily have a passion identified. Well, these are going to be excellent referral sources, so I suggest that they go out and speak with everyone who inspires them, successful people as well as those on their way to success, and it may be profitable for them in the event that they find someone on that journey who needs a phenomenal Internet solutions for business. With some of my newer business partners, their passion becomes manifest through MA Web Centers because our platform gives us license and credibility to speak with everyone. So you're a lucky person if this is something that has turned into a passion for you like it has for me and all of the Web Center coaches. And, you know, I don't, I don't see it better than on Sarah and Jeremy because they allow all of us to fly. So if you guys have any questions, I'm Sarah, I guess we can put on the blog, but I just so you know, my name's Sue Gilad, S U E G I L A D at Gmail dot com. No dots, no underscores, Sugalad at gmail dot com if you have a burning desire. Or you can always find me on the Facebook well, try to find me on the Facebook page. I try to show up there at least once a week. 
<laughs> okay, great. Sarah, back to you. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Sue. You guys, you know, it's awesome. It's so funny. Sue has so many awesome creative ways that she finds new leads and new prospects and really candidates, you know, and actually, Sue, you taught me that, that when we talk to people, whether they're a candidate for a website sale or a web center owner or just an unfranchised prospect or even a product uh, candidate, they, that's what they are. They're candidates. And she's just so good at identifying them and, and, um, and really qualifying them before she takes them to the next level. So that was just incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. That was great. Um, you know, we will be posting the new blogs and when the blogs are available, I will put them in our Facebook group. So make sure you're following us on Facebook in our group and that you're engaging in that Facebook group so that you can actually see when these things become available. So, Let's go ahead and close this off. This is the championship week, right, you guys? So as you're going into this last week of the fast track, what I want you to do is I want you to clear your mind. I want you to have um, tunnel vision, right? I want you to be so clear on, you know, everything that you're going to do this week because if, if you're not clear on this fact that time flies, then, um, gosh, I don't even know how to how to begin from there. Time flies. It gets away from us. Every single person that is on this call tonight, which is, you know, there's a lot of you on the call tonight, like literally 100% of people that have been reporting their results are on tonight's call, which is incredible. And, um, but you'll agree with me, and I know this because I'm guilty of it as well, that time just gets away. And before you know it, it's Thursday, and you're going, oh, man, I totally bombed this week, and I got to make up for it. So as you're going into this last week, I just challenge you to clear your mind. You know, really, before you start this week, why are you here, right? What did you want from this? Why did you sign up for the fast track, right? Were you expecting some sort of, you know, um, you know, secret that – that we were going to give you or, or were you looking for the accountability that it really requires um, to, to build the momentum that you need to see the results that you want, right? Why are you here? What do you want? Why are you here? What do you want? These are very important questions to ask yourself because it. I'm telling you, I mean, I know that we say this a lot, but the second that that becomes clear in your mind is the second that you will be inconvenienced to do the work that it takes to be successful. And that's very, very important for you to understand. So don't skip that. Why are you here and what do you want? Why did you make this commitment? Right? And then I want you to forgive yourself for any shortcomings that you feel that you may have had. You know, do you feel like you should have contacted more people? Probably everybody feels, yes, they should have contacted more people. That is typical. That is normal. That is human nature. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. It does not matter. What you did in the last 11 weeks or what you didn't do in the last 11 weeks does not need to affect the what you're going to do in this coming week right now, in this 12th week, right? So it does not matter for your give yourself and move on. Commit to making an improvement, whether you have been amazing You've made a ton of sales, whether you are totally reliable and whatever, always, always commit to making an improvement. One of the coolest things that I remember learning in college, um, you know, going to school for the arts and, you know, doubling up in education is that teachers are lifelong learners. People should be lifelong learners. You know, the people that are lifelong learners are the people that grow and that um, transform and that, you know, um, achieve new levels. So I want you to commit to making an improvement no matter where you are right now and where you'd like to be. Commit to applying your knowledge, right? We've rolled out brand new web center trainings over the past couple of, of weeks, right? You know, I've given you a ton of information. You have gotten a plethora of advice and techniques that you could apply from 12 hand-selected fast track coaches. Every single coach had something incredible to offer, right? They all came from a different background. They all had a different level of experience, but they all had some level of success, right? And they all had something that stuck out to you. And I know that they did because I see the emails. I see the Facebook posts. I see the text messages. I see all of the communication flying back and forth. Oh my gosh, Jay Sawyer, that was amazing. Matt Giebel, that was incredible. You know, Jocelyn, Sue, it doesn't matter. Everybody has been incredible in their own right, right? It doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home mom. It doesn't matter if you're like Russell Polo and you are incredibly technically capable. It does not matter what any of that is. 
every you got so much advice across the board there was so much knowledge shared but did you apply it and if you didn't apply it what are you going to do in the next coming weeks that you will apply it starting this week right you need to commit to happiness for yourself and i'm telling you um in our industry, this is very, very typical. You meet people and the first step <laughs> to training a new entrepreneur for someone that hasn't owned a traditional business or isn't used to taking that kind of um, you know, leadership role in, or, or uh, even just running point on their own projects, it's like you know, there's a little bit of stuff that you have to overcome and, and people are, they're, they're just jaded. You know, they've worked their entire lives and they're great people and they have incredible work ethic and they work really, really hard, but they're in the wrong system and it's sad. And so I want you to commit to the small steps. I want you to commit to being happy. I want you to commit to doing something this week that you have never done before so that you can achieve what you want because you can have it. It's literally right in front of you. It's right in front of you. It's whether or not you're willing to try something new. Are you willing to be uncomfortable? Are you willing to be inconvenienced so that you can have something that you've never had before? And that's really what it's going to come down to in this championship week. So I'm asking you to make every second count, right? Don't forget to follow up, please. You've done so much work. Don't leave that money on the table. Don't leave those potential partnerships on the table. Don't leave any opportunity on the table. Nothing feels better than progress. Okay, you guys? So whether whether you have a lot to follow up with or whether you're truly just starting off this week, it doesn't matter. It's different for every person. The best thing that you can give yourself, the best gift that you can give yourself this holiday season is some progress. To be honest with you, Hanukkah just started, right? And um, Christmas is coming. Winter Solstice, whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate anything at all, the best gift you can give yourself this holiday season is progress. Nothing feels better, I promise you. It's not about results. It's about going to bed at the end of the night and just feeling like you nailed it, feeling like you did something great. You've put something into motion and, and, and you feel like you're moving forward and that you're not just paralyzed and stale in your current situation. And, and if you can give yourself that gift of progress, you will feel so good. And you will, the, the results are just, they're, they're an afterthought. There's something, they're an automatic thing that just happens as a result of the progress that you've made right? So give yourself that gift. Make some progress this week. This fast track has always been about building momentum. It has always been about creating synergy, flow, right? And when I talk about synergistic flow, I'm talking about going from green, you know, green on the vine kind of stuff, whether it's an initial contact or a cold contact or someone that you've been meaning to reach out to that you haven't reached out to in a while, a green contact, to a warm contact, to a hot contact, to a result. And having all of those things happening simultaneously at, every, at any given time, right? Because if you have them all happening all the time, you know what that means? It means constant results. If you only have hot leads, then guess what happens after you close those hot leads? You're starting from scratch. You don't want to do that. You want to create synergy. You want to have flow. You want to have new leads and warm leads and hot leads and results happening all the time, every single day. It's about growth, right? It's about, it does not matter how great you are or how inexperienced you are. It's about growth. It's not about where you are currently. It's about whether you're going to be somewhere different in a couple of weeks from now, right? It's about doing things that are uncomfortable over and over and over again, a few times in a row so that they can eventually become comfortable right? When does it become easy? It becomes easy after you've done it a couple of times. Just think about anything in your entire life, right? Whether it's doing a hundred push-ups or a hundred sit-ups. The first time you did a hundred sit-ups, it probably burned. Right now I could do 500 and it would feel like nothing, right? But that wasn't true for me a couple of years ago because a couple of years ago after 50, I was like in pain, right? It's about being uncomfortable so that you can pop through that. You can pass right by that uncomfortability and become comfortable. And now you're creating a new level of uncomfort. Where can you, can you break through from there, right? Where can you grow from there? It's about becoming uncomfortable so that you can create new levels of uncomfort. It's really, really interesting. It really, really is. But I'm telling you, the only way to become comfortable is to be uncomfortable a couple of times in a row so that you can work through it. So that it becomes normal. It's about actualizing your goals. 
Whatever it was that you set out for yourself at the beginning of this fast track, what have you done to actually achieve it? Have you talked to prospects? Have they been quality prospects? Are you going to do that now? Are you going to follow up? Are you going to you know, work on this synergy? Are you going to do that flow that we've been talking about from day one? Right? It's about actualization. It's about visualizing what you want and doing the work so that it can, that it can become a reality. Um, and one last final piece of advice. You're never, ever, ever done right? We talked about how people should be lifelong learners, the best, the most successful people, the professionals of the world in whatever industry that they're in, they are lifelong learners. So you're never done. Don't be in search of that feeling of finality. Finality. It's not there, right? It's not about how many sites can I sell inside of 12 weeks. It's about whether or not you can rinse and repeat that and just constantly be growing, constantly, constantly be learning and expanding your mind so that you can be the best version of yourself that you could ever possibly be. You know, if Eric Yu had stopped his fast track after the first fast track because he had a successful first one, which he did, he would not be here right now hitting professional coordinator and as a fast track coach and delving into brand new divisions of our company, right? You guys, it's about... It's about constantly growing. You know, it's about uh, not focusing on the results, but focusing on the growth. Focus on yourself. Focus on being uncomfortable so that you can become comfortable. Focus on the right things this week so you can make this week the most incredible week, the most productive week, and the most lucrative week of your life thus far. And like I said, not of your life in general, but of your life thus far. This is your week, you guys. Let's make the best week that we could possibly have. I know you can make it happen. So go out there and literally just close everything you can. Follow up with every single thing that you have in the funnel. Continue to build results because like Sue was saying, the fast track may be coming to an end at the end of this week, but you know what? We're building to Miami right? We're not done building. We're building to Miami. We're going to continue to engage. And you guys, we are going to have a final webinar next Sunday where we wrap this up and I'm going to give you some homework to do building into Miami. But again, it's not about 90 day fast tracks. It's about 90 days plus 90 days plus 90 days plus 90 days for two to three years. So you can have whatever it is that you want. Thank you guys so, so much. And I look forward to this week. Stay, stay in touch, ask questions, whatever I can do to help, just ask the question and I'll be there.